My name is Ryan Morris. I am 29, I'm managing about $15 million. Warren has said that he lives just like he makes $150,000 a year, except for the private jet. Other than that, though. Before the Berkshire meeting last year, to pay our respect to the great church of frugality. So we four guys who all work at hedge funds, flew to Kansas, which is cheaper than Omaha, and we got the crappiest, cheapest rental car we could find to drive to Omaha all together, uh, and then stayed in the crappiest hotel I've ever been in. You go to these events where they have free drinks and food. And we got it down to $48 a night for the four of us in the busiest weekend of the year in Omaha. I was about 11 years old. I had this idea that I really wanted to change the world through science. And my father introduced this idea to me that, you know, Ryan, even if you're the best scientist in the world, you're not going to make you know, nuclear fusion happen. The guys with the capital are the ones who make those kinds of decisions. And so that sort of flipped a switch for me, and I said, okay, well, let's look at Forbes 400. This is this guy Buffett. I start reading his letters. Sounds very deceptively simple. You know, oh, I could do that. You know, he's just this aw shucks guy who just goes and picks stocks. The fact that it was accessible at all to a 12-year-old, it was just amazing, and that goes to the power of how he can communicate in a way that is very primal and, and accessible. Buffett says, try to choose your heroes wisely. He's been my hero since I was 12. And Warren Buffett has set just about the best example that any business person ever has. So it's had a huge impact.